All right, so we're gonna do like a full, full body stretch now. So this is kind of my go-to. Usually in the morning, I'm feeling a little stiff after working out or after whenever, right? Usually in the morning you're feeling a little bit stiff. Um, this will be my good, my go-to full body stretch. It'll be quick, probably like 10, 15 minutes. Um, follow along. I'm um, super gentle as well, so uh, we'll get going here. <coughs> All right, so we'll start. Preferably have a mat because your knees are going to be on the ground. Start in a mountain pose. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, elbows behind the back, opening up through the chest. Interlacing the fingers behind the back, open up through the chest. Tuck the shoulders into the back. Three big breaths here. All right, toes together, inhale, arms up. Grabbing the right wrist with the left hand, leaning over to the left side. Inhale up, exhale, switch grip. Leaning over to the other side. Inhale, arms up. Swan diving forward, flat back, head and neck come last. And your forward fold. So dangle out here for two big breaths. And then we'll walk our hands forward into a plank pose, slowly lowering down. Inhaling upward facing dog. Pull the shoulders into the back, chest forward, and then come up out of your turtle shell. Look over the left shoulder, drop the right hip. Three big breaths, other side. Right shoulder, left hip. All right, now we'll come back into a child's pose. So reaching forward, big stretch opening up through the side bodies. Now we'll come up in the tabletop, tuck our toes, downward facing dog. So feel a nice stretch through the back of the legs here. Drop the heels, pull the chest towards the toes. Bend the right knee, drop the left heel. Bend the left knee, drop the right heel. We'll raise the right leg up to the sky, swing it on through. Step the right foot up between the hands and come up into a lunge. So with your toes over top of your ankle, if your toes ever go past your, or, sorry, your knee over top of your ankle, if your knee ever goes past your toes, just wiggle your toes forward and get a little bit deeper into it. Squaring the, the left hip up. Feel a nice stretch in the left hip flexor here. Sitting up tall on that leg. Lunging a bit deeper. Micro movements in the back heel, and you'll feel it deeper inside the hip or towards the outer side of the hip. Up to you, whatever serves you best today. Straighten out that right leg, toes back, chin forward. Three big breaths here. Curling the back, tucking the chin. Two breaths here. Now bending the left, the right knee. Left hand plant, right hand behind the back, twisting dragon. This is a big stretch in the left quadricep. If you have to, throw a strap or a belt or something around your foot to get there. Nice deep stretch in the left quad. All right, back to downward facing dog. Left foot up to the sky, swing it on through. Plant it, position your hips, square your hips to that the front of the mat, sitting up tall, lunging into that right hip flexor this time. Again, micro movements with that back heel, whatever feels good for you. Straighten out that left leg, chin to the toe, toe back to the chin.
Curling the back, tucking the chin. Deep stretch through the back of the leg here. All right, right hand plants, left hand behind the back. Kick that right foot up into the hand. Open up through the hip if you like. Quadriceps stretch on the, on the right side this time. Three big breaths. All right, and then we'll find ourselves on our bellies into some upper body stretching now. So with our, hand, our arms out like cactus, we'll bend the left knee, lift the left knee up off the mat, and then curling over to the right, keeping the right chest planted. And you can use the left hand to push you a little bit deeper. You should feel a nice stretch in the right chest here. Other side. Right knee bends, arms like cactus. Don't don't let them don't don't lose your cactus arm. Right knee up, floating over across the body, using the right hand to help you get a little bit deeper. All right, now we'll go into the shoulders. So right arm forward, left arm underneath and across. Let your upper body weight do the work. Let gravity do the work. Spread your legs wide so you can kind of nestle around and let the upper body weight come down on that left shoulder. All right, switch it up. Right arm across. Legs wide. Spider the fingers so you get a little bit more length out of it. Right into that right deltoid, right? that. Now we'll find ourselves in our child's pose again. So toes together behind you, knees wide, hips way back to your heels, arms out in front, walk our hands over to the right, spidering with the left fingers, finding, le finding length through that left side body, plant the right hand, look up over the right shoulder. And the other side. So spidering the right fingers, Plant the left hand, look over the left shoulder. Nice stretch in the latissimus dorsi here. All right, now we'll get into the hips. Start with the groin. So feet together, elbows in the knees, hands underneath the ankles, opening up through the groin. Three breaths with a tall spine and three breaths tucking the chin rounding the back surrendering into it all right so that's the inner thighs that's the inner groin now we'll we'll get into the outer hips so right leg across the left give that leg a big hug sit up nice and tall on your chest chin up chest proud if you have to get that knee like farther over towards your underarm on the left side or wiggle it with your foot you should feel this a deep stretch over here everybody feels that sometimes you're just going to make adjustments sometimes you got to sit up a bit taller other side wiggle the foot get the knee a little bit farther over feel that in the left hip Sit up tall, hug it deeper. All right, now we'll get into that, into the wrist. So hands out in front, flip the fingers, tuck the hands, lean back, straight arms. I will feel, feel that deep into the forearms. Really important to open up the circulation through the wrists. We got all this, all the, all our bones, tendons, muscles, veins, everything. It's all bottlenecked up in our, in our wrists, right? So until we stretch it out, a lot of times we lose circulation, especially in the winter. We start curling up in our fingers, right? It's a really, really, really beneficial stretch for everybody. Everybody loves this one. Okay, coming out of that, nice and easy. Shake it off. 
Now, hands out front, top of the hands flat this time. Straighten out those arms. Spread the fingers wide. Whew. Lift up just the pinkies. Just the pinkies, pinkies down. Just the, just the ring fingers. Rings down. Just the middle fingers. And then just the index. Just the thumbs. And try to make a fist. All right, that's that. Now we'll get into the neck, shoulders. Left ear to the left shoulder, reach out with the right hand. Nice stretch through the right, through the right shoulder, the right neck. Calming the storm in the neck and shoulders. Other side, three big breaths. At least three breaths, right? You can take five or six, pause it, whatever. I'm just trying to make it accessible for everybody throughout the day, you know? You can just stop and take a few minutes, stretch it out. All right, so that's that, full body. We pretty much hit everything, right? So, um, thanks for following along. I really appreciate you guys coming out and exercising, working out, stretching, and grunting and groaning and growing. At the end of the day, we're all growing together, right? So uh, yeah, feel free, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll keep videos coming as often as possible. Um, I'll keep things fresh. As I grow, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to help you guys grow as well, right? So um, until next time, thank you for all for coming out and uh, enjoy. Have a good day. Bye.